upon these persons here present to witness that I, Jack Allen Fleet, do take thee, Chloe Louise Robbins, to be my lawful wedded wife. From this day forward, I promise to love and honour you, to encourage and support you, to share all things in life with you, and never take for granted the happiness you bring me. These promises I make to you for the rest of our lives together. persons here present to witness that I, Chloe Louise Robbins, do take thee, Jack Allen Fleet, to be my lawful wedded husband. From this day forward, I promise to love and honour you, to encourage and support you, to share all things in life with you, and to never take for granted the happiness you bring me. These promises I make to you for the rest of our lives together. you are my true love and best friend. As we start our married life together. As we start our married life together. I ask you to wear this ring. I ask you to wear this ring. As a symbol of our everlasting love. As a symbol of our everlasting love. Jack, you are my true love and best friend. As we start our married life together. As we start our married life together. I ask you to wear this ring. I ask you to wear this ring. As a symbol of our everlasting love. As a symbol of our everlasting love. It really does give me the greatest of pleasure to announce that you are now husband and wife. Congratulations, you may now kiss your hand.
name is Steve. Chloe, I really want you to enjoy the next few moments, dear. Since she joined us 26 years ago, she has constantly brightened our lives. Many people have said that a daughter typically looks for a husband in the same vein as their father. Funny, intelligent, kind and loving. All of the traits she's got from me, clearly. Jack, it's a huge pleasure to welcome you to our family. You're just like the son we never knew we needed. <laughs> I'd finally like to say, before tears appear in my eyes, that I think around the room, if we all search, we can agree there's probably very few things in our lives that we're particularly proud of. But at this moment in time, the most thing I'm proud of is being the father of my daughter. <laughs> Mr and Mrs please. I'd like to start the speech with a few thank yous um, on behalf of me and my new wife. Yeah. 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 We'd just like to say thank you uh, to everyone here for making it today. The day really wouldn't be the same without any of you. And now on to my beautiful, amazing wife. Thank you for being my best friend, the best mum to our little boy, um, and for making me the luckiest guy in the world. People always ask me, sort of, when, when did you know? Um, Truth is, I never believed in love at first sight until I saw Chloe. She walked into the sixth form common room. Uh, she was wearing denim dungarees with shorts at the bottom, black leggings, red converse, and a pink Hollister t-shirt. <laughs> I, I looked up and thought, oh, I'm in trouble here. <laughs> and, and that's when I knew this is the girl I was meant to be with. A Couple of months later, on December 18th, I asked her out, and on January 2nd, she said yes. <laughs> uh, we, haven't, we haven't looked back since, but um, really our journey's been perfect. I mean, we met when we were 16 and 17. Uh, we've gone from meeting each other's families to having our own. Every day since we've met, I've felt like the luckiest guy in the world. I love you every day and always will. You're beautiful inside and out and I cannot believe how lucky I am to get to spend the rest of my life with you. So please, can everyone raise a glass to the best wife and mother in the world, Chloe. Firstly, I'd like to thank you all for coming to Jack and Chloe's special day. And I'm sure that you'll all agree Chloe looks stunning in her dress today. I've watched Jack grow as a person since, ever since he met Chloe. Uh, he went from a shy, quiet kid to a witty, devoted father. And I'm proud to call him my brother. As many of you may remember, Jack had plenty to say about me during his best man speech a few years ago. And after digging through the archives, it appeared that he'd missed a verse or two. So, I'll leave you all with this. I 
I'm bad at public talking. And speech is big or small. If I spoke to you tonight, it would be painful for us all. Promise my speech wouldn't be embarrassing or long, but I'll think you'll find that this is technically a song about my brother. <laughs> Pandemic caused delays. It's been clearly stated, but I bet that's the second length that Jack's exaggerated, but Chloe still loves him. All joking aside, standing next to you today, it filled me full of pride, Chloe, you're lovely. And you've made Jack as happy as can be. Welcome to the Fleet family. So Jack and Chloe. Jack. Yeah.